Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Bring Traveler Overview. I guess we're traveling in VR this year. That would make sense last year, but now pretty much everything is open, especially that Paris, for example, is just full of tourists. Everything is back to normal, so you can freely travel now, huh? I'm a good example of that because I was one week in Greece and one week in south of France, where both had forest fires. <laughs> I guess it's better than just sit at home and do nothing. So Bring Traveler is a traveling experience where you explore around 12 locations around the world that presents you some of the most gorgeous views as it claims. Now this concept is very familiar by now because we've tried Blue Planet VR before and immediately the difference I see is that Blue Planet had mm, maybe more than 10 gigabytes of storage where Brink has around half gigabytes. I'm not sure how higher in quality experience we will get. I would think because all the photos and 3D normally it's mandatory to take a lot of space but maybe it's due to the optimizations or stuff like that. With experiences like that it's very easy to tell the discrepancy between 360 photos and actually rendered footage. Moreover, the trailer shows that we are able to move around a little bit, but I'm mostly convinced it's just to not break the illusion of the photogrammetry. Stuff like that is very hard to judge from the trailer. The visuals are always the first to be deceitful, so let's just see it for ourselves. Watch your step. It's a sheer thousand foot drop to the mighty Colorado River below. Horseshoe Bend is a dramatic and iconic example of the American southwestern landscape. The sheer cliff walls were carved over millions of years as the river cut down through ancient sandstone, eventually becoming entrenched and creating the horseshoe shape you see ahead. The mm. river continues this process today on its path towards the Grand Canyon, nearly 60 miles downstream. It looks like it's your first time with us, so I'll be your virtual guide to get you started on your adventure today. Please. Brink is all about experiencing amazing places. Everything you see around you is true to world scale. That means you can stand and take a few steps in any direction. Sure beats looking at a postcard. If you're not able to physically walk around, you can also move by using the joysticks on your controllers. Oh, thank you. Okay. In addition to exploring the scenery, each location you visit has three points of interest, which can help you learn more about your surroundings. To find these points of interest, you'll need to use this compass. Great. Now you can use your compass to find points of interest placed around you. Whenever you see a Polaroid icon, point your compass at it to select it. You've just found your first point of interest. You can find these optional pieces of information in each location if you're interested in learning more about a place. Push the collect button to save this point of interest whenever you're ready to continue. When you find and collect a point of interest, it'll be saved here in your trusty field notebook. We can pick up stuff. You can bring up your field notebook anytime during your travels by looking at the palm of your left hand and grabbing, just like you did for the compass. All <laughs> it's right. actually falling, what That's the hell? That's all there is to exploring a location and finding points of interest. Pretty easy, huh? Look around and try using the compass to find the other two points of interest in this location. The Colorado River is one of the principal rivers of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. I actually like this, like if we're comparing the Blue Planet VR and stuff like that, this, even though it's not heavy, it creates amazing illusion that you actually are in the place. It feels natural to me, like the limit I think is, what is it gonna be, like 5 meters or something like that? The last thing you'll need before you're ready right. to explore on your own is a way to travel to other locations. For that, you'll need this watch. When you're ready to travel to another location, look at your watch and push the large menu button in the center of the watch face. I like as well movable objects like this rock we can pick up and just throw. I see a bird flying. If we're talking about the discrepancy with the image, there's almost none because here you can tell like it's much more sharper and stuff like that and in the distance it's a bit blurry but in real life it's blurry as well because it simulates the real distance. It's even like mosquitoes and flies flying around here. The hell? <laughs> I think the only illusion that's not very apparent are the greenery, like trees and bushes. There is some illusion on the river with reflections of the sun and stuff this like that. This is yeah. the location menu. From here, you can browse your collection of locations and press a postcard to travel to a new location. Or, if you want to keep exploring Horseshoe Bend, 
Press your watch button again to close the menu. Coming soon. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be the seas. I would like to travel. Crystal Craig. Mountains of snow. That's my genre. We have to download it. Okay. That's why this application was not heavy. <laughs> That's actually a good solution to not just download everything at once and wait like two hours. So we're gonna do Crystal Craig and I think this Iceland and we should be Gucci with that. But I like the atmosphere, the music and just like, you know, the vibes, if you will. <laughs> Near the town of Mammoth Lakes, California, Crystal Crag rises above a pristine alpine lake basin adjacent to Mammoth Mountain. Situated in the heart of the Sierra Nevada range on the southwestern corner of the Long Valley Caldera, this region was shaped by volcanic forces and carved by the passing of glaciers. A favorite of rock climbers, the mountain is named after a large crystal dike on the North Ridge, referred to as the Crystal Pitch a unique and bizarre technical climbing section just below the summit. What the hell ah, the storm? One other important thing you should know. Some locations have multiple spots you can move between. To move to another spot, bring out your compass and point it towards a trail marker icon to select it. Great, that's it. Keep an eye out for other trail markers during your travels. Oh, I see the distortion with bending trees there. But it's not gonna be perfect, that's for sure. It's 360 photo layered on top of rendered objects in the terrain. So like this map specifically, you can tell better the difference. I do like the movement that you can just, you know, switch to other locations and stuff like that. It's gonna be stormy out here, so let's go to Iceland. <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho. Iceland is a country of immense natural beauty and Hauefoss serves as a spectacular testament to that. Situated near the volcano Hekla in southern Iceland, Hauefoss has a 120 meter drop, making it the fourth highest waterfall of the island, after Morsarfoss, Glimmer, and Hengifoss. Grani, the neighboring waterfall to the right, and the smaller surrounding waterfalls are all part of the river Fossa, the longest river in Iceland, originating from the many glaciers near the center of the island. Beautiful view, isn't it? Did you know you can take a photo anytime during your travels? Try putting your hands in front of you and making a frame with your index fingers and thumbs. Great shot. <laughs> you can also try grabbing and moving the image if you want to reframe the shot. Once you're happy with it, press the large button to save the image to your field notebook. <laughs> this is more advanced, that's for sure. And the simulations are much better than Blue Planet. I do feel like I'm here. Like, this is a very interesting feeling that virtual reality can provide if it's done correctly, like that. I think the sounds as well contribute to that. And just little details like flowers and grass. It's interesting that they said there's gonna be more to come. Hell, I would be actually glad. I'm gonna keep it because this is an amazing application to demo to other people what VR is possible to do. Like, this feels natural to me. Transport yourself to, to the other locations and just stare at the beautiful locations around you. It's mostly mountains and canyons for now, I feel like. I don't think we'll ever get like, you know, Google VR in a sense that you'd be able to travel literally anywhere in the world and just be in that space. I mean, there's one there from like Google Studio and stuff. It's not like essentially simulating that you're actually there with the sounds and effects. This feels way closer from anything that I've tried. I would not think that I would be impressed with a geographic experience on Quest, simply because of the natural limitations of the hardware but this is very lovely 